Dude, this is ridiculous. What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger. We're here with Chef Kobe at Death by Pizza, and we're about to make an epic clam pie. And by we, I mean Kobe. Time for some clams. Woo! For those who don't know how to shuck a clam, lay the sharp part in that little opening and squeeze with your hand. These are super easy to go right into because I froze them. But look at that. All the juice is intact. Oh, yeah. The clam itself is not frozen. And we can just scrape it out, throw it in that mixing bowl, and we're good to go. Right, there's your clam knife. I'll twist this up so that way we can both just go to town on them. I always recommend opening up your clam above your mixing bowl, so that way you make sure you don't lose out on any of that delicious clam juice. Where did these come from, Cedar Key? Cedar Key, Florida, yep. So like Panhandle area. Yes, sir. They're farm raised out in the ocean and they're seeded, so they've got posts mm -hmm. in the ocean that they're seeding. It makes harvesting the clams easy, but they're still out in the open ocean receiving the incoming and outgoing tides, which okay. is constantly cleaning out the water. I've served many a clams. I got my start in a, in a small little red sauce joint where I really like learned the, the, the trade. I love it. So we got all these chopped clams here. We got that juice. Let's head into the pizza kitchen and we'll start building a pie. Heck yeah, let's do it. All right, we got our clams shucked. What's yeah. next, chef? This is our sourdough crust. We use a whole milk mozzarella. I like to build what I call a nice frame. We start off with the corners. It gives you that nice kind of structure. You'll see when the pizza comes out of the oven, you're gonna see a nice caramelization of cheese uh, that, that builds that nice crust, which is what Detroit style is known for, is that frico caramelization of cheese. Traditionally, Detroit style uh, pizza is made with uh, what's called Wisconsin brick cheese. Uh, down here, it's a little bit tough to get that, but we kind of accomplished that with an addition of a cheese, which I'm gonna put on at the end, which, you know, Wisconsin brick cheese has that nice, like, pop of umami flavor. Um, but this pie almost gets a pound of cheese on top of it, nice Ooh. and spread even. What I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna add some of this slivered garlic onto the pie. And basically what we're, kinda, we're gonna kinda mimic here is, when you make a, a good clams vongole or a clam pie, uh, I think about like eating it as like a pasta. So we're gonna build the basis and the flavors of that on the pie uh, before we hit the stove. Okay, Okay, so that. we're gonna take some of these clams that we shucked just a little bit ago. We're gonna just kinda squeeze them out just a little bit, just so that we don't get a ton of liquid on the, on the pie. We don't want it to be super watery because we wanna allow the white wine and the lemon juice that we're gonna add onto it uh, do its thing. So we're gonna, you know, put some of these top neck clams nice around it. And I think about my slices, I think about having a, a clam in every single bite. Uh, yeah, it's one thing that I notice about your pizza is that like, I never have to aim. You know when you're eating something, you have to like aim for the best parts. With this guy's pizza, you don't have to do it. You can eat the pizza with a blindfold and the whole thing's banging. Oh yeah, so, so, um, you know, most of the time when you're, you're, you're making clams and stuff, so you gotta add a little bit of salt and some more, you know, some more seasonings to it. But we're gonna pull all that salt in from the, the cheeses that we're gonna add to this. I'll okay. Put on some fresh gloves again. Um, so the next step that we're gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, some parsley, um, some white wine, lemon juice to give it a little bit more flavor. And then every one of our pizzas that we put out of this kitchen, we don't make any sort of modifications or amendments on our, on our uh, menu, gets Pecorino Romano, the imported, the great stuff on the top of it, and that's like what our pies are known for. Um, so we're gonna hit this with some fresh parsley. You know the food is good when the chef says zero modifications. We, we got a little bit of white wine, a little bit of lemon juice. I'm gonna grab a little bit of really, really great olive oil from Graza. Some extra virgin olive oil. And then, like I said, every one of our pies, it's a nice greeting and shake. Not a conservative one of Pecorino Romano. This pie is ready to go in the oven. 
So uh, tell, uh, me, tell me about this cheese real quick. So this is an imported Pecorino Romano cheese. Uh, it's made um, with sheep's milk. It smells um, amazing. So it's got that nice punch of uh, umami. It's, it's going to definitely be different than Parmigiano Reggiano. We do use par Parmigiano Reggiano to break down whole wheels in this kitchen. We use it for certain applications, but for this pie and for all of our pies, we put on, on top of every single pizza, Pecorino Romano, and it can never be enough. That's one thing I love about everything I order from you guys, from like the wings to the pizza, that the toppings are always like over the top. There's got, there's got like to that be garnishes and condiments. That no garlic what. parm wing, like it like was caked in garlic and parm. It was freaking amazing. Oh yeah, so this is the pie before it goes into the oven. It's nice and, uh, nice and fresh. It's got that lemon juice, white wine, top neck clams, parsley, slivered garlic, mozzarella cheese, and don't forget about the Pecorino Romano cheese. Let's put it in the oven. We got our oven set, it's nice and hot. We're gonna put it in. We'll see you in seven minutes, bud. Seven minutes? Let's head over to the stove. We're gonna actually make some vongole on the stove. When this pizza comes out, we're gonna cut it up and then we're gonna pour the vongole right over the top of the pizza. What's vongole? It's a clam sauce. We're gonna take the, some of the top neck clams that aren't open. We're gonna saute them with garlic. We have that fresh chopped red chilies, the Fresnos. Saute that all down, put a little bit of white wine some of the residual clam juice, lemon juice, parsley. We're gonna close it up. Six, seven minutes later, they're gonna be wide open. We're gonna take that top off that pan. We're gonna reduce that sauce down so it's nice and tight. And when it comes up, pour it right over the top of the pizza. Dude, I'm hungry. Let's get it going. This pizza's looking banging, y'all. I'm so hyped to try it out. It smells incredible. It really does. You can smell like the, the white wine, the lemon juice. Mm. You can even you can even smell the clams. The the blend of the like the white wine, lemon juice, clams, and that bougie cheese you sprinkled over the top, like you can smell it all at once. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling right now. It's my mouth is salivating. Oh you can man. See all those fats kind of cooking into the crust. We're looking really good here. So we carefully are going to extract the pizza out of the pan. Oh, one thing I love about Chef Kobe's pizza is that like good toasty crust. Oh, Their yeah. crust is so good, dude. Oh my God. That looks amazing. So you can see here, if you look under the bottom of the crust, nice and crispy, golden brown. The pie looks amazing without this sauce he's about to pour over it. So I'm hyped. I love that perfect toastiness you have on the garlic bites in there too. Give that a taste. It needs a little, a little bit of salt. Oh my God. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, I, I could drink that, dude. So you can see, see where all the Fresnos ended up? That nice like little red color. Now we're gonna cook this down. That's we're, amazing. We're gonna reduce, reduce and reduce. The further you reduce it, the more uh, bold and flavorful the sauce can become. We want that for this pizza. We want everything to just shine really, really bright. And I love at Death by Pizza how thoughtful and pretty you make everything. I appreciate that. Now this is definitely very pretty. A little non-functional to be able to eat the pizza like this, but we'll, we'll, we'll open these up nicely and we'll get them out of the uh, pan. I'm gonna pull some of these clams out of this. I'm gonna add a little bit more fresh parsley in there, give it some good color. See those chopped clams, or the, the whole top neck clams that we put in there? We're gonna add a little olive oil for some flavor. And look at that. See how nice and thick that is? We're gonna just oh, pour that over the top yes. of the pizza. That looks freaking amazing, dude. A little extra parsley. Some more of that olive oil. And voila, clams vongole pizza. All right, let's dive in, Reed. Dude, let's do it. Is that supposed to be a pun? Uh, you know. Just a little one here. I'm gonna, I'm actually, I'm gonna take this fork right here. And I'm gonna get this clam right out of here. And ooh, that little bit of extra oh. sauce there, look at that. And 
Oh, epic cheese pull. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Wow. Dude, this is ridiculous. These are some of the best clams I've had in a very long time. Dude. This is epic. This is so good. Like wow. genuinely ridiculous. It's got the right amount of citrus, white wine, garlic, mm, the clams, every bite. Dude, that cheesy crust is so good. All right, you guys, we got a lot of work to do putting away this pie. Chef Kobe, Death by Pizza, makes the best pizza I've ever had in my whole life. Delray Beach, Florida, check them out. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, man. You guys, thanks for watching. Have a killer day.